Hello, I'm Alan Hunter. I'm the co-director of the Glasgow Film Festival. And I want to thank you so much for watching Her Way, Femme du Monde, and to remind you that um, it is eligible for the Audience Award, sponsored by Caledonia and McBrain. Um, so please vote, because it, it means a lot to the filmmakers. Um, talking of which, um, I'm very pleased now to be joined by the brilliant uh, writer-director of Her Way, uh, Cécile Ducot. Hello. Um, welcome to the festival. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was going to say you've had um, a substantial career, um, short films, award-winning short films, um, TV that people will know um, and love, L'Opéra, Call My Agent, um, J'adore Le Bureau. Um, I just wondered, has it always been an ambition to make a feature or has it just been the right circumstances now? Oh uh, yeah, it's always has been a, a goal. I mean, um, I start writing for TV and uh, doing my short film as the same uh, at the same time because I like to do both. Um, first, writing for TV, it's more relaxing because it's command, command. So it's not my subject. But sure. now with the opera, it's my TV show. But before, when I was working for the bureau or call my agent, um, it was uh, the idea of other, and I just wrote several episodes. Um, so it's nice because it's not. I mean, um, it's not my story. For example, for the bureau as a spies, uh, <laughs> it's not my kind of cup of tea, <laughs> but. <laughs> Uh, but that's why uh, Eric Rochon likes also because he, he likes to work with people who, who don't know so much about the, the spy, but it's another story. So yes, it's always, and when I start to do short film, uh, I like it. So of course uh, I want to, to do it more and uh, to do a feature. Femme du Monde is based or um, amplified from the short that you made, um, Back Alley in English. And I wondered what it was about the character and her story and the subject matter that made you want to, to return to it for Femme du Monde. Yeah, it's because I had a lot of things to put on that short and it was too much. Um, the short is about this woman uh, prostitute who's struggling with uh, uh, the globalization and the fact that suddenly Black prostitutes are coming and um, taking her job. Um, how would you say, like concurrence? The, the Conquering. The concurrence, yeah. And, um, and then when I do the sh did the shot, I met a woman, a prostitute, who talked to me about his son, her son, sorry. So um, suddenly I thought, wow, it's, it's and I just had a, uh, at children's too so we talk a, a lot about that and I thought it was very interesting but it was too much to put in a short film so um, and because although I, I, I love to, to work with Lor, uh we're getting well together uh, so after the short I, I, I had the idea to do it uh, longer and to develop uh, the, the story and go further. One of the things that I really like about Marie is that she's not a victim, she owns what she does, she's not a tragic figure at all. Um, and in terms of approaching prostitution, what were you trying to do in terms of how you confronted the subject and how you avoided all the cliches that there are around it? Yes, my intention was to uh because when you you saw a movie about prostitution it's always all miserabilism miser a victim <laughs> a victim so who's struggling to uh, escape the job and on the other hand it's like very glamorous like prostitution is a very glamorous and it's 
escort girl and uh, more like Verhoeven movie, which are good, but it's not my what I want. So I want to do it in the middle because uh, because for me the those women are well the the women I met for the short film and after all the prostitute I met it was really regular women. Of course, there there is some victims. I'm not. I mean, it's very important to draw a line between um, the prostitute who are in a net or who are working for um, a pimp uh, and they are slaves, of course. But on the other hand, there's also a woman who choose those, uh, this, this job. And of course, they say that it's probably not the most beautiful job in the world. It's not easy every day, but they, they prefer to do that than another job and they like it. Um, and, 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 and they're very normal. I mean, they have normal life. So for me, it was important to show that, to show that this woman um, like her job because she thinks it's like a care. Uh, she's like a nurse. She's like a, something like that. And uh, the subject of the movies is not uh, a woman who, who wants to, um, to quit the job. Because um, I, I, like, um, I like her honesty as well, because even when she's at the bank and they say to her, oh, what's your job? And she said, oh, I'm a prostitute. It's like there's no hesitation. There's no embarrassment not, this, she, this is who I am not, and this is what I do she's not embarrassed about her job and the movie is not about her how she will quit the job the really the movie have, is about her relationship with her um, son and because the only defeat I mean it's not um uh it's it's not like every every job I, I can't say that it's normal job but the only difference is with the children. It's when you're a prostitute, anywhere you are, uh, uh, you have a children, it's difficult because the society is looking at you wrongly. And, um, and, uh, and so there is a problem with your, your son. I mean, her, yeah. Um, and was, was Laura with you from the very beginning in terms of developing the script and the character and the story you wanted to tell? Or do you uh, create it and then she comes in and... We talk a lot it. because she's uh, also very interested about uh, this subject and uh, she read a lot of things and we met uh, some girls, but she didn't wrote uh, with me. I, I developed the character uh, by my uh, own. Um, but we really have the same point of view uh, on the subject, so it was um, it was okay. <laughs> and, and it is very much a, a mother son story. Um, so casting the son is almost as important as casting Lore. Um, and Nassim Renard, um, I thought, was excellent because um, his his performance is very believable, and the character is just so annoying in his lack of motivation and stuff like that. So how difficult was it to cast that role and were you casting him with Lore? Was it to see if there's chemistry between them or? Uh, I did a big cast with my uh, casting director, which is specialized in uh, children. And uh, because of the COVID now, uh, we receive a lot of tape from everywhere. And um, and I think we receive like 500 tape from everywhere. And then I met probably 50, 50 young guys. And at the end, there were four guys for a young boy. And, uh, and um, but one Nissim was really, really good. <laughs> so I, um, Yes, I organized a casting with Law. She only sees those four guys. And the chemistry was good with Nisim because he has this natural thing uh, that he can play everything. He's always natural. 
and um, and he's also like his like the characters um it was fun because her mother was on the set and sometimes i could hear the conversation and he was a little like but it also was also nice because he did the shooting very well and no problem. So, um, and I like uh, Nisim because he's playing very well, but also he has um, a very cinematographic um, face. Um, he's like a little boy sometimes with big uh, cheek yeah. and, uh, and sometimes not is more, more strong so uh, he, he's very nice to to shoot um, and Marie is such a, a positive character um, is it a, in a way his pessimism lack of motivation is that the worst thing that she could encounter in her son in a way yeah I think it's for me it's I hope that every kind of people can recognize uh in this relationship because the worst thing when you are parents is when you see your your son or your daughter lacking of energy lacking of uh life actually i mean it's normal when you're a teenager but at some point you have to, <laughs> to struggle <laughs> and um and yes marie for her she's a very strong character she's uh, i mean she she can force everything. She can go to the bank, she can steal money, she can, she's comfortable in every situation. And she wants uh, her son to be like that too, because, uh, and at the end, she managed to do that because she can't pay, finally, she can't pay the school, uh, which was crazy because it was too much money and probably it was not for him. Um, but she managed to push him and at the end he's fine. Uh, he find a job on uh, by his own and, in, and it's the most important thing. It's becoming independent. Yeah. Um, and the mother-son relationship is central, but it's also a film, uh, it's got so many aspects to it because it's, it's about class, it's about um, expectation of telling people what they can achieve or, or diminishing what they could achieve from life. When, you know, when he talks at the, the school and it's like, you could be a truck driver or why don't you look at being a security guard and stuff like that. Um, and it's about some of the politics around prostitution um, and the, the activation that they go on. So was it really important to you that there's all these issues and textures underneath that that mother son story yeah because yes uh, of course there is a social dimension um because she refused because she's prostitute that her son um has to pay for um a job and uh, she refused because she's a prostitute that her son is uh, going to be a truck driver even if he don't like to do that so for her is very important. It was very important for me because I think the inequality between uh, people is very important in, in, in at the beginning at school, and um, and sometimes um, the frontier is on your mind. It's this guy uh, Nissim um, Adrien uh, is not. Uh, going to do the best school because he think he can't do it and uh, and and that's the most um, sad thing in society um, so yes there's this social uh, dimension and also uh, when she's going to the brothel in Germany uh, because you you can see a lot of girl different girls some kind some girls coming from the east and some uh, from Africa and uh, you can see all this um, this poverty uh, coming from all around so yes it's a mix of that and the, and, and the relationship between uh, son and mother. Laura has obviously been nominated in the César as best actress um, you must be very pleased about that 
Um, and how's how's the film been received? Because it's it was released in France. Was it was December? Yeah, yeah it was released right. in December. Um, it was nice, but uh, of course the, the 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 condition because of the sanitary situation is not very good for the for the movie. So of course we are a little uh, less than we were expect, but all the movies are like that, ex except uh, Spider Man, I think. <laughs> so uh, the same uh, here. <laughs> So um, yeah, it's a little sad because um, because people don't go to the movie as they were going before the pandemic. Uh, but we have a nice um, uh, we have nice critic. We went to festival and and um, now we are going to the Caesar with Love because she's nominated as the best actress in this movie. Uh, I don't think we will have the, the César because she already had it oh, last well, year. Well, 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 yeah, really. <laughs> so I don't think, but it's very nice for me because it's um, then the movie is still exists a little more. Um, and the film is set in winter time, and I wonder why and what that gave you. Um, it, it gives you a certain with the snow and the rain. Gives you a certain melancholy to it, almost. For me, it was very important that the shoot was uh, in Strasbourg, uh, at the border of uh, French and Germany, uh, because um, because there's this scene when they are um, de doing a demonstration um, behind the European Parliament. Uh, and because she crossed the border to go to Germany, because in Germany, Brother uh, authorized, uh, it's legal to, oh, yeah. and it's not in France. So it was important. And then it's, for me, this area um, is very beautiful in winter. Uh, I mean, it's east, <laughs> and east in, in, in winter, it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. And also to also show the, um, the hard work she's doing so when she's on her in her car and it's night and uh, and we had we were lucky because um we had snow and um we could improvise some uh, some scene and uh, yes for me it was very important that it's uh, also because uh to not fall into these glamorous things uh, for me, glamorous is more uh, summer. <laughs> In winter, there's no glamorous. Yeah. Okay. Um, and is Marie a character that stays with you? Do you kind of occasionally think, I wonder if she's still on the street at the moment looking for a client or what's going to happen to her when she gets a little older? Could you see yourself returning to the character? For the, moment, for the moment, no, I want to, to change, but it's true that I make this movie because also um, I grew up in Paris, I grew up always in city, and um, there's prostitutes um, everywhere around, the, not everywhere, but always, I always saw prostitutes around the corner. And um, so for me, they are very close to me. I don't, I don't, um, is that I don't know them, but they are very close. They are part of my um, paysage, of my uh, culture, of my uh, everyday life because I saw them, and um, and it's true that I made this movie because I was wondering how is this job, why they are here, how do it, how it say how it's work. I mean, so um, now I'm not thinking about that, but yes, when I met some in the street, I think about Mary. I, th I think, you know, maybe that's, that's a success of the film, that you do have these thoughts of what's going to happen to this character now, and you feel invested in her, and you're like, <laughs> because of the way it ends as well, she's back on the street, she's looking for a client, and life goes on, and you're like, but 
what happens in five years, what happens in 10 years and all that. So it's, it's, a, it's a tribute to your film and your character that that plays in your mind. Are you already working on something new or? Yeah, 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 because uh, it took me seven years to do that movie. So if I want to do it another <laughs> one before seven years, I have to work very yes. fast. Yes, move, 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 yes. Good, well, we wish you great success with the next Thank film. Thank you very much, and it was, it's a very nice, um, it's very important for me that it's in Glasgow Festival and for all Britons, and I'm very yes. proud of that. Good, you must come to Scotland sometime. Yeah, I, I hope I will come for the festival, I hope. Oh, good, okay, well, we look forward to seeing you there. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.